Let me, let me do a little bit off script. For those of you who know me, I've always been a very candid who have reported on me for decades. I never read a script, uh, but unfortunately, today I will, uh, to the best of my ability, because it's my words, but it, it's, I felt I needed to get everything out. But I've always been very transparent with each and every one of you, sometimes maybe to a fault. Uh, but I, I wanted to preface um, my comments uh, with that, with each and every one of you. So let's get to the point. I've taken some personal time, as I think and hope all of you can appreciate, to, to be with my family, those friends and individuals I love and love me, and my colleagues here at this office who I consider to be my friends. And I've been doing that for the last couple of weeks under some criticism, and I understand that. I've been with my family. I've been with the clergy to take care of this part of me. And again, my colleagues. And why? I wanted to make the best decision for my family, for what I'm doing here, and for myself. And I feel like I've come to that conclusion. And that conclusion is that I'm going to finish my term out in this position. I'm not going to seek re-election in 2019. And I know, I know that, that what I just said probably is a little shocking to some people. But after some brutal discussion with a bunch of folks that, including my family, unanimously, and those individuals around me that love me and I love them, and there's been many and there still is, the ones I've heard by my actions, but all of them unanimously told me to stay the course. But I plan to fight these allegations. Now, I'm going to be honest with each and every one of you, those that I've known for a long time and those I'm meeting here face to face for the first time. My first inclination was to walk away. I, I can tell you, I've never, I've never been in a position like this before, but your first inclination, and certainly mine, was to just fold the tent, walk away. So I could protect my family. But as it turned out, my family and those closest to me were, were, were stronger than I initially, quite frankly. And I knew that I would be up against a lot of judgment immediately and disappointment. And that disappointment still resides today. Something I'll have to live with and hopefully regain. But I'm going to be quite honest with you. I, I've, I've experienced just the opposite. I've been, I've been absolutely overwhelmed with the public kindness, even through, I'm not a really a social media kind of guy, I mean, through even that. It, it has been overwhelming from people, from friends, colleagues, those who know me, those who love me, those family members outside, and I, I use the word love freely here, and even complete strangers. Secretary of State Tom and, Shetler. And to be quite honest with you, some folks that I maybe didn't show that much respect to or weren't really that close of that have reached out to me the most to, to offer advice and, and compassion. And, and it's been humbling, I, I, I got to tell you. The, the fact is that uh, up to date, the, the cry for my resignation has come from some politicians and from some editorial pages, I, I don't, you know, everybody's got a job to do. I'm, I'm, I've been in doing this decades. That all have publicly suggested that I resign. Staying's not going to be easy. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not so naive to think that staying here is going to be an easy task for me. But leaving would be cowardly. And Tom Shedler is not a coward.
for those of you who followed my career. You know, as always, uh, the truth lies somewhere in the middle. Somewhere in the middle. All the facts will be revealed in the proper place and the proper time. I do not intend to feed rumor mills and gossip columns. I, I, I know that, that some out there are going to disagree with my choice. I fully expect that. But I, I'm going to shift just for a moment to this office. You know, we're at a critical crossroads here at Secretary of State's office. That sleepy old job of Secretary of State is no longer, especially in the last two years. In the terms of elections alone, and I don't mean to minimize anything with commercial division or archives or museums, anything else we do here, but elections is, is our forefront issue. And I think all of you know that that, that has been a headline issue ever since 2016. We normally would have had that in our rearview mirror a long, long time ago. But the issue of cyber attacks... We've been very fortunate here in Louisiana that that hasn't occurred, but to be quite honest with you, it's a real threat. I've been very active, as you know, with congressional testimony and active with national groups, continue to be so uh, just up until several weeks ago, and we continue that fight. We're in the middle of an RFP process for new voting equipment. This couldn't be at a worse time. I got a brand new election commissioner since January, mid-January. Capable individual, but new to the job. And I've got mid-year elections facing me in November. Not to mention I'm in early voting as I stand here before you. I cannot in good conscience leave this group and put this place into more chaos at this point in time. I cannot do it. We'll, we'll throw this organization into total chaos because I've been targeted in an unfair lawsuit. It's time for me to dig in and be respectful for the work that this office has done. This office, not Tom Shedler. But I got to work even harder. And I, and I fully recognize that, that I'll be balancing it. That's my problem. All these deadlines that I just mentioned to you are real, and they're approaching fast. And I'll go off script just two seconds. You know, when I took this job, even at first Senate, and even at 12 years in the Senate, I didn't know a darn thing about Secretary of State's office, okay? This is a place now, with what's in front of us, you don't just OJT it. This lady here and some others, this gentleman back over here in the corner and others behind the scenes make this place work. But we are at a critical crossroads. I owe that to the people who elected me and the outcome of the critical votes that are ahead of us. From this day forward, I'm committed to two things, and two things only. Well, I guess I could add a third one, but the, the, number one, my family, my loved ones around me, and, and me for me. But also to the protection and continuity of the people of, of Louisiana who elected me and this staff. I work for the people of the, of the state of Louisiana, and I've always taken that very, very seriously. They elected me to do a job, and it's way too important to just walk away from it. Especially with my tail between my legs. You don't have to listen to me long. You know I'm a New Orleans guy, and, you know, you, you get knocked down, and by God, you just, the fight's not over. You get up, and you just pick up your bootstraps, and you, and you get on with it. 
Now, this is the hardest part for me, okay? Because it defies who all of you have known I've been. You know, after this discussion, I am in legation. And the state of Louisiana is in legation. Period. So I'm going to have to close with a few things here, and that's going to be it. But I'm going to I'm going to avoid being distracted. I'll be courteous to you. You folks have always been courteous to me, but you have a job to do and understand that. But I'm going to I'm going to focus on the accomplishments of this office and the continued things ahead of us in the short term. And I'm defining that by that RFP, that, that new staff, that, that critical change of new voting equipment in midterm elections. And uh, not to be alarmed, this, this cyber stuff is for real. I mean, I'm in the process of getting clearances and my staff likewise. I'm going to ask that you treat my family and my staff with sensitivity and kindness. And you have. It's not, it has not been an issue, but I would beg of you to not do that. I, 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 I'm the guy. They have no role to play in this mess, I can assure you. And, and you cannot and I cannot expect them to speak on my behalf. I and I alone stand up here in front of you. I don't have anybody standing with me. I've always fessed up to anything that I did. I took, I took the hit the first day. Some criticized even that. But I felt it was important to just say it like it is and put it out there. It wasn't easy. But I manned up and did it. All I have left is a reputation behind me of what I've done in my past career and my honesty and straightforwardness. I'm sorry to my family to this staff and to all the loved ones and people who love me that I've loved and still love for how disappointing this is, even with the allegations. But just remember, there's some truth to the middle. <laughs> I'm going to leave God to judge me, right or wrong, and I'll let him guide me of what my future may be after I finished here with the job I have in front of me. I thank all of you for coming here. And uh, God bless you, and uh, uh, get out there and do the job I know you got to do. Okay? God bless you. Thank you.